I see that you have created a bird bath. Yep. I love this. I've got a confession to make. I started making some. We're going to pop home for one minute. Back to my house, Emily's Garden. See you there. I've got to be quick with this. I don't want to leave her waiting too long. I already have some stuff set up. See the sand? Make a nice big mound. You might want to get the kids out for this one. They like to play in the sand. After you make a nice big mound on the sand, like so, what I want you to do is grab some plastic. Cover that big old mound. I decided to do sunflower. It's sunflower season, I tell you. Hosta leaves are also very nice because they have a lot of crevices inside. Take the leaf, invert it. Next, go to the hardware store. Buy some vinyl concrete. Water, mix her in. That's just about the way I want it. Leaves down, plastic over, nice big hump. Here we go. Now you're going to cover your entire leaf with this vinyl concrete. It's kind of fun actually. If I use a paintbrush, go to the end, can make sure that I've covered all of it. You get some on the back side so you can see it a little better. Beauteous. You see how the paintbrush allows you to get right down to the edge of the leaf really is pretty important in forming the bird bath. The little trick that I learned in the last one was to kind of go like this to bring that leaf form back up like so. Now that I know that I've done that I want to build it up to be a good couple inches thick in the center forming a nice cup. No reason why you couldn't put a little hand to print in the bottom of this as a memory of quality time spent with your children. After this is all set, you're going to leave it out to cure and you're going to end up with this. The next stage is kind of fun. Peel away your leaf. How cool is that? Voila! Okay, I think we left Sandy there long enough. Let's go back.